Okay, now we do the kernel upgrade the hard way. So the easy way you can see in the previous video that I made uh, that we did before we installed, we went in and modified the kernel, the installation kernel. So we modified this kernel and downloaded the latest patches from SAP, updated it. So when it installed, it installed the latest version of it. But if you didn't do that or if you have a system that is already installed and you want to upgrade the kernel, this is the easiest way of doing it. So, and this is some of the, I'm showing you some of the trip and, uh, tips and tricks. Okay, the first thing to do is establish the current kernel that you have. So you need to know what version you have at the moment. So go into status, click on this button here, and then you can see the kernel is 28, uh, support pack level is 28, and the release is 742, okay? Version 742, support pack release is 28. Okay, so now we're going to go and download the latest kernel from SAP's uh, website. Um, I'm, I, I've already downloaded it here for you. This is doing the installation, we did it. So you can see the kernel again is 28. It's the latest kernel. We have the latest kernel. So there's no point for us to upgrade, but I'm going to show you the process anyways. So now before we go into upgrading the kernel or any sort of uh, basis work before we go into uh, uh, one of the best practice or one of the tips to do is f copy this SAP car into the Windows directory so that you have uh, access to it at any path. So whatever the path you type in, you will have access to it if you copy this into the system32 directory. I'm going to copy it into the system32 anywhere in system32 file, paste it. Okay, so SAPCAR is copied. So now in any path, you can open here CMD and type SAP CAR and you can see SAPCAR is available. So this is useful to us because we will be importing a lot of data into the system. Like uh, uh, at some point in this video, we'll be uploading content in the into the ECC. We'll be uploading uh, Fury component, a SAP personas component. You know, all this needs extraction. So there's no point creating a folder and copying SAPCAR into each folder. This is how uh, uh, people usually do it. They copy SAPCAR and extract this, then delete the folder, so on and so forth. So there's no point of doing that. So now to extract this, you go into CMD. Okay, it opens up a path. And before we do that, I'm going to exit the application server slash NEX. I, if our version is 28. Keep that in mind. And uh, I'm going to stop the application server. Okay. So now I'm going to extract this. So uh, see our command prompt is open. Okay, SAPCR slash XVF is a is a transaction code asterisk dot SAR. Okay, now while it's extracting, I'll show you the path of where this needs to go into. What is our kernel path? So going to system, the tra the SID we're going to use is EH7. Now some people have multiple SIDs, BI7. Every kernel is different. So EH7 is a kernel we're going to go into. Sys EXE. Unicode is our installation. We have a Unicode installation, and this is our kernel. Okay, now kernel upgrade can go wrong in so many ways. Just one step, and and it goes wrong. So best practice again: right-click, add to this. Let it compress. Let it make a compression. You know, it doesn't doesn't cost you anything. So and only a few seconds of your time. So in the meantime, we saw 964 files have opened up. So I'm going to open up a new window here. Open a new window. Okay, I'm going to go into media, kernel. And as you can see here, this is the the two files I've extracted. I'm going to copy it out of the kernel into my media folder. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, and now this is the modified kernel. Okay, so now you're going to copy this. Control A, Control C. You copy this into your kernel folder, which is, so wait for this process to finish. Okay, once it's finished, you copy it into this folder here. You paste it and it'll ask you, do you want to copy files? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Uh, replace these files. I'm going to skip all these files because I already have. Okay, so that's basically the, the kernel upgrade process. So we've upgraded the kernel and now we're just going to start the system again. So that's basically the kernel upgrade uh, process. So if you had an older kernel and you put in a new kernel, when you update, when you turn on the machine, you would uh, see a new, you would see a new, um, new kernel. You know, my system should turn on pretty quick. Everything is really fast now. 
all that RAM coming into use. Run, 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 run. Okay, once it gets the wait status, you can log in. I'm ready to log in. I have more than a few dialogues in wait. I'm going to go into the zero, zero, zero. Um, Now, if you can log in without any problems, without creating errors, you have a successful kernel upgrade. Again, take a look at the, the kernel status to see if your kernel uh, situation has changed. It shouldn't change for us because we we our, we were using the latest to begin with. So ours is still and 7.42. Okay. Again, very important. Do not delete the folder at any cost. Some people delete this folder. I mean, delete the original folder and then copy the new into that don't do that because the 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 nt amd folder has files outside of the kernel that it needs to function so if you delete this and copy the kernel into this there's no use you're deleting some of the the files that you need so never copy just copy overwrite the files that's there all the files that are not overwritten let it be there as it is so that's the way you upgrade a kernel so very important do not delete this folder just copy from the extracted folder into this folder and that's your kernel upgrade for you. That's a hard way of doing it. The easy way of doing it is shown in the the uh, previous videos. So I'll see you in the next step for what is the next step? Uh, developer keys and ICM and stuff like that. We'll do a few few maintenance before we go into S Gen.